Made the second free throw and he missed a pair. Here we go, folks. 144 to go. Mason. Down by three. Hancock back door. Pearson. Notice Villanova playing Hancock going below screens and no hedge. And it gives him again an easy opportunity to find the roll in the middle of the paint. Don't think George Mason has ever given up. No quit. In the Welcome back, one point game with Mason at the line, shooting one. As you look at the reset, Villanova with the arrow, each team with one timeout remaining. Gus Johnson, Len Elmore with you from Cleveland, Ohio, downtown. Stokes picked up his fourth foul, sending Ryan Pearson to the line, a 70% free throw shooter. Second team all CAA. And the junior has a chance to tie it. And, uh, and let's go back to the point that was made, I made earlier about not having a reliable low post presence. But if you can get your forwards to cut an established position down low, point blank, you're in good shape, especially if you can deliver the pass. And Hancock did. And Pearson did the rest. Four ties, four lead changes. Nova is led by as many as ten. Backdoor Fisher. Inside! Oh, he almost threw it out of bounds. Great play by Wayans. And a foul. That was a tough foul. Woo. But an even riskier pass as Yaru didn't even see it. It was intended for him. And an excellent save there by Wayans. That could have saved Villanova's bacon for the rest of this tournament. Yaru. Perfect from the line today, two of two, 66% free throw shooter. Morrison picks up his second. So the sophomore from the Republic of Benin. And he missed it. Wow, Mason with a chance to take the lead. 105 to go. High screens going beneath the screen. Not thinking Hancock's going to shoot it. Hancock blocked. Great job. Great help. By Yaru. But that's burned him before. Going below the screen and not pressuring Hancock. Fortunately, Yaru is there. Inside. Pierce and Pivots. No. Big Mason with the lead. Fisher. And a timeout call by Villanova. 54.7 to go. Mason on an 8 0 run. Hustling, fighting, scrapping, jamming. Two point lead. Welcome back as we reset it for you. Two point game. George Mason taking their first lead since the 15 10 mark of the first half. Leading 7 to 6. Now Villanova. Out of timeouts with the basketball. Well, in that huddle, I guarantee you, Jay Wright went over the very options that have worked for him on the offensive end. One of them is the 1 4, where you have four guys across the baseline, have Corey Fisher or Malik Williams with the ball. Now, first of all, obviously, Villanova has the inbound, but if they get a chance to push, as George Mason has picked up, picked up full court, I would attack if I had numbers. So Wayans, Fisher, Stokes, Pena, and big move on the floor. And here we go with high screen eventually. Fisher kicks it out. Stokes, 17 to shoot to the basket. Stops, corner, they shot. Oh, he's fouled. Man, behind the three-point line. Villanova totally out of sync there as George Mason defended the shooters well. And that was one of those three-point shots. Watch the lower part of the body. 
just making contact. Got a little bit of a piece in the hand, but it's the contact that knocked Corey Fisher down. And Jay Wright, just nonchalant. Corey Fisher at the line. This practice. He's one for one today. He's a 78% free throw shooter, shooting three. Well, you talk about, again, an opportunity as the George Mason guys hoping to live the dream once again. You talk about an opportunity for George Mason to make a stop there without a foul. Second free throw good for Fisher. Now a sub coming in. Defensive substitution. Most Sutton. He's 6'11". Game tied at 56. Fisher. One more for the lead. Remember, George Mason has one more timeout. Jim Laranega has a chance to talk about this last possession. Three in a row. 57-56. Nova. Shot clock turned off, folks. Game clock at 25. They're on their feet. Here, Hancock! Oh! He had it for three. 59-57. Wyatt. No In time the front out. court. No timeouts for going over. Wyatt drives to the bucket. No, Pearson. Rebound. And jump ball. Villanova will hold on with 8.5 to go. Down by a deuce. No timeouts. Well, I'll tell you what. All afternoon, they've been playing behind screens. Not respecting Hancock's ability to knock it down. Here he didn't need a screen. It was just a step back and a bury. So Jay Wright signaling for his guys to come over. They're going to talk some things over at the scores table. The officials going to the monitor. And that will give both teams a chance to huddle up. Unless there's something, some miscommunication, an opportunity to get an easy one on the baseline, which I would doubt. Mason up 59-57. Villanova, no timeout. In the corner, Stokes. Fires! Off the top of the backboard, no. Loose. Hancock. Front court. Morrison. Mason point. George Mason. Three tenths of a second to go. They involved in a matter of time. George Mason. Making the statement, we are back and ready as they come back from a 10-point deficit to win at 61-57. So the bracket in the East, folks, just got hotter. George Mason, dramatic win. Coming back, they await the winner of the Ohio State Buckeyes and Road Runners from Texas, San Antonio. Jim Laranega, the magic is still there. 61-57 the final. For Len Elmore and Marty Snyder, Gus Johnson saying so long from Cleveland. Tournament games continue live now on CBS, TBS, and True TV.